The Radio Kaikon Rooftop. It was originally off limits, but the police strictly blockaded it due to the murder incident three weeks ago. I slipped past the yellow tape and opened the door to the roof. The lock was broken. It was painful to breathe since I ran up the stairs. While gasping for air, I stared through the desolate area and unconsciously noticed a satellite enshrined right under the center. I couldn't help but mutter so. Mayuri and Daru come up behind me and catch their breath. What is this? It looks familiar. The time machine Suzaha rode? It certainly looks similar. Or at least the shape does. But something feels a little different about it. The one Suzaha rode looked more tattered. But this one's brand specking new. And it's not sticking out of Radio, Radio Kaikon's wall either. I mean, Suzaha shouldn't have even come to 2010 in this beta world line. After all, Certain Zystopia is constructing the Awful World line's future, which is why Sousa has said escape to the Beta World line to prevent that. Then, where exactly did I see this satellite? I searched my memories. Wait, we saw this in the beginning! Chapter 1, or Chapter 0, whatever you want to call it. I've seen this satellite uncrashed like this before. That was... That was right! Or, that's right! That was at Dr. Nakabachi's presentation. Right before the presentation started, the building shook like an earthquake struck, and when I went to the rooftop, I saw this satellite. Confused, I approached the satellite and... A lone person's shadow come, comes forth from the shade. <laughs> hey, Suzuha! Long time no see! Okabe... Rintaro... Suzuha! It really was Suzuha. She seemed to give off a slightly different aura, but it was no doubt her. But no doubt it was her. The Braun Tube Workshop's part-timer. John Titer. The time traveler from 2036. Daru's daughter to be born seven years from now. I couldn't help but ask her the same question I just asked on the phone. Oh. Oh. The way she asks it is as if we never met before. And I can't help but say something's different about her by the way she's talking. In the first place, what's with all that worn out cam camo? It doesn't look very clean either. She even has a gun for some reason. And it doesn't look like a model. Could this chick really be a Mana Suza? Huh? I'm gonna get confused. Um, let me get this straight. I say it over and over to convince myself. Suza shouldn't be here. And that's, Su and that's because Suza had time left to 1975 in her, her one-way time machine. Lived in Akiba as Hashida Suza until 2010, and then died. Then just where did this girl in front of me come from? I didn't have the composure to answer Mayuri's question. Suzuha approached me with a serious look and said something surprising. それを回避するために私に協力して過去を変えてお願いなんだよそれ。だ、ウィプレンテッド。なんなんだよそれは。第三次世界大戦って大変だ。大変だよ。いや、つうかさ、タイムトラベラーってマジ釣りじゃなく
待て待て待て待て待ってくれ I need to get things straight. Straighter or less, or else. そこにある人工衛星のようなものはタイムマシンか Suzuha curtly nods. Her face shows not one hint of the cheerful smile I'd remembered. Rather, it was gallant and cool headed. お前の父親が作ったのかそうだよ。Suzuha glances at Daru. お前は一体どこから来た2036年から1975年2000年を経由して経由だって Strange But that's just strange No matter how you look at her She doesn't look like she's in her 40s at all Which means あのタイムマシンは未来方向にも跳躍できると言いたいのかそうじゃなきゃタイムマシンとは呼べないじゃん No This isn't the Suzuha I know. But without a doubt, it is Suzuha. Suzuha frowns with a troubled look. She doesn't, she doesn't know about CERN? I knew it. She's a different Suzuha from, from the Suzuha I know. Saki. Dai Sanji Sekai Tai Senga Okiri to Ita Yona. So, so no senso de Jin Lui no so Jin Ko wa Juok ni made hit tano. Ch Juok te Eto Ima no so Jin Ko te Lokju na no kuning gure ja na kata ke Dato stara Goju na no kuning mo shin da te koto? 核兵器が使われてねかつての冷戦構造にそっくりだったきっかけはタイムマシン EU とロシアによる開発競争が火種になってそれにアメリカまでが横槍を入れたから収集がつかなくなった世界を滑る可能性を持つ夢の装置それを手に入れることは過去から未来までを全て手中に収めるっていうことになるわけだから This is freaking heavy, man. The time machine again, huh? It's the machine of dreams, and also the, me the mechanical harbinger of death. I was painfully made aware of this fact these past three weeks. In 2036, This is the future for the beta world line? And the, wor and the future of the, of the alpha world line? CERN constructed a dystopia with the completion of the time machine. Opposition became futile and humanity was stripped of all freedoms. In this beta world line, I arrived in. Outside of that convergence range, CERN fails to complete its time machine. But instead, 5.7 billion people die in a world war. <laughs> Strength drained from my knees. Suddenly, I collapsed on the spot. Okari, daijoubu? Mayuri rushes over to me and gently rubs my back. But I was too lost to even respond to her kindness. I glared at Suzuha, in the nearest scapegoat. Nande konna koto ni natte rin da? Omae ga itta nda zo! Beta sekai sen nara! Certainly, Mayuri was saved. She didn't die. And yet now, after all that work, Suzuha appears before us again, telling us to change the past. Borrowing my Yuri's shoulder, I sluggishly rise. I've been wounded, 
like an abandoned puppy. I don't even care how Suza is staring at me. Oreva! Alpha se kai sen kara koko ni kita! Ore no daiji na onna no kono inochi o gisei ni shite made! Koko ni tadori tsui tanda! I can't go back. I can't go back to the world line where Mayuri dies. Koji u nana oku ni ga shino oto! Shitta koto ka yo! Aitsu no. Chris no gisei o. Muda ni nanka sase nai kara na! One person and 5.7 billion people. They just can't be compared. Suzuha opens her eyes in terror at my words. Mayuri and Daru are clearly bewildered. After all, there's no way they'd understand what I'm thinking about. <laughs> After all, there's no way they'd understand what I'm talking about. それがレーノ。リーディングシュタイナーなんだね。なぜそのなお。父さんから聞いてる。それに私もオカリンおじさんとは会ったことがあるんだ。俺とそっか。そしてそっちのアトラクターフィールドでも私は同じように2010年に来
between the tractor fields? どのアトラクタフィールドからも一切干渉を受けないたった一つの世界線通称シュタインズゲートの That name is a pretentious hipster bullshit name I pulled out of my ass with no particular meaning. So why? Steins Gate was a mother that I m o m i t a k o t o n a i m i c h no Sekai Sen Rashinda. Rashit, so the Dareka got Kansoku Stanjanain? Kansoku was a r e t e n i n e y o n e Dakara Michina Wakede. Demo. シュタインズゲートのダイバージェンスはお父さんとオカリンおじさんとですでに割り出されてるよ相対値でここからマイナス 0.081609% そこがシュタインズゲートその世界線に到達するために必要な条件がクリスの救出そういうこと第三次世界大戦を回避する鍵なんだよ彼女が生きていればさ、戦争は起きない。少なくとも、五十七億人も死なないんだ。なぜだえなぜ、クリスなんだ確かに、クリスは天才少女だが、あいつが、五十七億人を救う英雄だっていうのか。よくわかんない。わからない。無責任すぎるだろう私は父さんの立てた計画通りに動いているだけその計画元はオカリンおじさんが立案したらしいんだけどだからおじさんの計画が間違ってたら私のやってることも意味がないどうしてまた聞きなんだ直接俺に指示されたわけじゃないのかオカリンおじさんは10年ぐらい前今からだとおよそ15年後2025年に亡くなった、ま、the same result as the alpha world line. だから真相はわからない父さんはオカリンおじさんの意思を継いでこの計画を実行するためにたった一人でタイムマシンを作り上げた That's our super hacker for you. So, he probably hacked CERN after they abandoned time machine research and stole their data. Their data. And then I'm sure he constructed one all by himself using that as a reference. In the awful world line, CERN killed Daru, leaving his time machine incomplete. But in this one, Daru stays alive and completes the time machine. That's why I can also jump into the future. Is that it? Okarin-oji-san. その世界線シュタインズゲートは未知っていうぐらいだからどんな未来が待っているのか誰も知らないもしかしたら第三次世界大戦が終結した後でディストピアが構築されるかもしれないもしかしたらマキセ・クリスはオカリンおじさんが助けた2日後とかに死んじゃうかもしれないもしかしたらオカリンおじさんは2025年じゃなくて、一週間後に死んじゃうかもしれない。でも同時に、もしかしたら、2036年になるまで、第三次世界大戦も起きないし、ディストピアも構築されないかもしれない。マキセクリスも、他の誰も死なないかもしれない。素晴らしい未来が待っているかもしれない。少なくとも。私がいた2036年でもなくアルファ世界線の私がいた2036年でもなくなるのは確か Is there that much merit in having an unpredictable future? I'd be sorry if it turned out that you to be a you did you did your very best but everything came out worst bad end 先は見えない完全な未知 It should be impossible to save Kurusu in the first place. Even if we leap through time and change the past, everything will converge. I'm painfully familiar with that. Impossible. 
There's no way that this plan will succeed. The world is just toying with us. So let me tell you what I'm doing. 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 So let me tell you what You couldn't say it was pretty. You couldn't say it was a pretty hand. It was ungroomed, with very rough skin. But if you think about it, Suzuha came from ruined world, ravaged by war, by war, with over 5.7 billion casualties. This hand is natural. <laughs> save Kurosu. I want to save her. I long to. I want to save her through any means possible, but I couldn't think of this as anything other than the devil's plan. Ah, no, ne, Mayushi wa ima no hanashi chinpun kanpun na no des. Demo ne, sono Makise san te yu hito wa Okari ni totte wa daiji na hito datta n desho. Datta wa ganbaru beki da yo. オカリン57億人救えるかどうかってのはちっとも想像できないけどなごちゃごちゃ細かいことはいいからその女の子を助けることだけ考えればいいんじゃねそうすればモテキ到来確定だしマイヤリアンダーロンカージメバラムスシェイキングマキセクルスウィスペントスプリウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィスウィス I look in front of me. Is Suza has hand? I look at that hand, and with feelings of resignation, firmly grasp it. Yario, I'll keep rebelling until the end. Regardless of my will, the choice has already been chosen. It was chosen on July 28th. On that day, at that instant, I laid eyes on the time machine. Kikyoku. 俺がお前の手を握るように運命は収束するんだろう。この頃、この頃、この頃、この頃、この頃、この頃、この頃、この頃、この頃、この頃、この頃、この頃、この頃、この頃、この頃、この頃、この頃、この頃、この頃、この頃、この頃、この頃、この頃、この頃、この頃、この頃、この Even if I won't be rewarded for it, all I can do is go. Ishani. Ikuyo. Arigato. Okari oji san. Ja, nodde. Let's go save the freaking world. Chinami ni sono tai no machine. Futari no ri okay no. Mochiro. 私の父さんが作った最高傑作なんだからさ当然だって誰が娘に愛されてるな言葉の意味はよくわからんがとにかく父さんではなくお兄ちゃんと呼べオカリン絶対帰ってきてね言ったまま戻ってこなかったら嫌だよ別に違う世界に行くわけじゃない I lightly tap my Yuri's upper arm to calm her down. Suzuha guides me to the entrance of the satellite of the time machine and I slip in. It's surprisingly narrow inside. I sit face to face with Suzuha in the cylindrical interior. Almost like an amusement park attraction, like the teacup or a Ferris wheel gondola. The circumference of the cylinder was slightly higher than the floor, suitable for sitting. 
The number of buttons was astonishingly small. I also saw the interior of the Alpha War Line, says the time machine. But this one gives the impression of a more refinement. However, the current time machine's time display panel is the same as the Alpha War Line's. Black, white, red letters. Maybe that's just what Dar maybe that's just Dara's taste. I hand over my phone as asked, and for some reason Suzuha opens up the hatch and chucks it outside. What? Oh, I see. Since we're going to July 28th, there will be two of me, and, if I bring it, two of my phones. Things could get troublesome if I get a call or something. Sometimes travelers really do need to be careful about what they bring to the past. I hear Mayuri and Dario's cheers from outside. Mayuri caught my phone. I nod back to them once one last time and close the hatch. We're wrapped in stillness. Suzuha is operating the time display panel. Our time traveling destination is July 28, 2010, 11:50. I remember Dr. Nagabachi's presentation began at 12. この今は説明しない。とにかくそういうことなんで発表会の前日に飛ぶことも this is a good day so far. おじさんって<笑> So you're John Titer here too, huh? John Titer no kotoka? So, 2000年 ni tonda toki ni. So ka. The past changed, or I should say, changed back. In the awful world line, I witnessed Titer's 2010 posts on that channel in real time. Amma bikkuri shinai da ne. These past few minutes, so much information has come into my head at once. It seems it's gonna blow. I no longer have the capability to, to be surprised. Ever since I returned to this world line, I've intentionally avoided avoided news of Kurisu's incident. I was afraid it would just it would decide the result. So that at this point in time, I don't know who killed Kurisu. I don't know how or why she died, or died. I don't know at all. If I knew things could turn out like this, maybe I should have looked things up. As soon as I asked myself this, I denied it. Attractor field on your shoes, <laughs> その日は分岐点なの。マキセクリスの死の可能性は大雑把に計算して50%なんだよ。収束は起きないんだな。起きるかもしれない。うん。多分起きる。でもきっと抜け道があるはず。その抜け道こそがシュタインズゲートの入り
、私のいた2036年では、第三次世界大戦が起きたって言ったよね。その原因をたどっていくと、中鉢論文に行き着く。ドクター中鉢が書いたっていう、タイムマシンに関する文書なんだけど。しかし、ヤズのタイムトラベル理論は、ジョン・タイターのパクリ。Wait. ジョン・タイター sitting here in front of me. つまりタイターがネットに書き込んだことは正しいということか一部に嘘は混ぜておいたから私が書き込んだ時はあんまり相手にされなかったんだけどまさか10年経って再評価されるとはね私の書いた理論をもとに独自の考えを加えたみたいその完成度はとても高いらしいんだとにかくドクター中鉢は、マキセ・クリスの殺された会場にいたんだよね。だから、彼には注意しといて。彼もまた、世界線を大きく変えるキーマンのはず。That Dr. Nakabachi is? I thought he was just some suspicious old guy. じゃあ、行くよ。シートベルトを閉めて。Now that I look underneath me. I do indeed sense something resembling a car seat belt. I wrap that around my waist, fixing my body to the seat. Kekko, you're in the car. You're in the car, you're in the car. So that means it does stuff other than shake. Well, hold on. Will I be okay? Suzuha、so、bends forward and pushes a conspicuous yellow button on the bottom of the yellow panel. Or on the bottom of the panel. I can't see the outside. So、can't even tell if the time machine is moving at all. たった3週間だからものの23分で行けるはず、so、her her own seatbelt in size. 最初に1975年へ飛んだ時なんかさ6時間ぐらいかかって暇で暇でしょうがなかったよ<笑> 23分だからあえて酸素マスクはしてないけどタイムトラベルの間この中は無酸素状態になるな我慢しろとここにエアポケットができるのそこに頭を突っ込んでおけばさ10分くらいは呼吸できるわけなあもし仮にクリスを救うのを失敗したらどうなる実はそんなに燃料はなかったりするんだよねもともと入れておいた燃料はギリギリだから2036年に帰る分の燃料もなかったりつまり世界線を変えられなかったら私はこの時代に残るしかないんだあでも心配しなくてもいいよ8月20日から7月28日への往復はさまだ2回ぐらいなら可能だから燃料がないならどうやって2036年に帰るつもりだ帰る予定はないんだよねシュタインズゲートへ行けたらこの時代にタイムトラベルしてくる理由はなくなるでしょ因果が再構成されるんだここにいる私は消滅してきっと2036年で平和に暮らしてるはずだよ。というわけで、オカリンおじさんの頑張り次第。Her tone is light, but her face is serious. It's been so long since I've talked to her, but I just now noticed. The woman known as Suzaha acts without considering the consequences. At that moment, along with a sound like a burst of air, countless faint silver lights start floating throughout the cylinder. Just like insect scales, or power snow, or powder snow. The silver lights gradually change color. Violet, blue, green, yellow, orange, red, back to silver, violet, blue. Is this a rainbow? I feel pressure throughout my whole body. Similar to the sensation of going up in an elevator. This is like the feeling of the elevator pulling you downwards. But at the same time, But the, but the time machine pulls horizontally at, at my back instead. 
The feeling of pressure gradually strengthens. The sense of falling sideways. I've never experienced. I've never experienced this before. It's so uncomfortable. I want to cry out. The time machine doesn't shake. It's startlingly peaceful. Enough that I began to question whether it's really moving at all. It was eerie. The pulling sensation grows even stronger. The feeling of pressure crushing my body starts to seem like an illusion. My my own bones start to creak. <coughs> this isn't the same level as the elevator at all. This is almost like when astronauts blast off into space in the space shuttle, isn't it? When I look at Suzaha, she has her eyes shut tight, bearing the pain. Her back is pressing the cylinder of the outer wall, not letting go. My vision distorts. Within my distortion, within my distorting vision, the power of light is still revolving around colors like a rainbow. Wondrous and divine. I'm still falling. Horizontally? Into time-space? Into a time-space tunnel? Anyway, I'm falling. My body doesn't seem to work. My field of vision suddenly turns pitch black. I shout it. My voice also falls behind my back, not even reaching my own ears. Gravity. There's an intense gravitational distortion behind my back. I just keep falling towards it. The smell of ozone reaches my nose. My vision returns. Suzuha takes a deep breath and unfastens her seatbelt. <laughs> that was a rough six. That was a rough three minutes, Suzuha. I try to catch my breath in gulps. Did I really time travel just now? July 28th. The day Kurosu and I first met. The day I first sent a email. I've returned to that fateful day. Suzuha takes out a digital watch. Its design, its design is extremely old. This is where an uninformed person would say, in Japanese, please. After spinning the dial to set it to the correct time, she hands it to me. The watch indicates 11.51. Nagabachi's presentation starts at 12. オカリンおじさんは、マキセクリスをマークして殺されるのを阻止して。お前は。サポートに回る。それと、携帯を取り上げた理由と関係するけど、ここには7月28日現在のオカリンおじさんもいる。今、世界にオカベリンタロウは2
I take a look around, but there's nobody I need to worry of. To be wary of. I wonder, I wonder how things went with Suzuha. I'm worried, but for now I need to focus on myself and on what I must do. And that is the prevention of Kurusu's death. In about three, in about three hours from now, Kurusu was killed right after Nakabachi's presentation ended. I know the scene of the murder, the passage of the eighth floor. Deeper than the event assembly hall, where barely anybody goes. I don't know who, who Kurusu's murderer is. So rather than make an awkward, awkward, conspicuous movements, I should just wait at the scene. I'll cool off for about five minutes, and then head over there. Certainly, at, at, at that time, Kurusu spoke out to me in, in the assembly hall, got fed up, and returned after going down this far. Then I called my Yuri, but couldn't connect. So in the end, I went back to the assembly hall. About what time was that? At any rate, if I just stay here, I'll pop into myself. It's tough thinking about how to act so, so that my old self doesn't notice. When I throw Suzuha's watch into my pocket and put up to put up with my desperation. I know who that is. Chris. あなたと面識ありましたいや。さっきこのビルの屋上から降りてきましたよね。but now, the one most important to me than anyone else in is right before my eyes. Tears come close to welling up. I want to embrace her right now, but I swallow down my overflowing feelings. This Kurusu still doesn't know me. Don't forget this is our first meeting. <laughs> Of all things to be spotted by Kurusu. <laughs> I couldn't think of how to answer her. More importantly, if I were to exchange words with her, I wouldn't be able to hold back my overflowing feelings. When we cracked CERN, Kurusu returned to the lab and showed me her last fleeting smile. That smile floats through my mind. Kurusu cross examines me with suspicious eyes. Well, what would happen if I took Kurusu outside the building right now? Would the divergence change without Kurusu getting killed? I recall all the times that Mayuri died and I kept time leaping to save her. And each of those times ended in vain. I was unable to save my Yuri. Even once. No matter what I did, the world would kill my Yuri. Wouldn't it be the same with Kurusu? Should I even try it? I timidly reach out to Kurusu. Kurusu takes a step back away from me in surprise. She stiffens her body while embracing an A4 envelope before her eyes, before her chest. My first encounter with Kurusu, even though I know that, I still can't shake the feeling we're old friends. Now that I think about it, taking her away from here would be difficult. It's unthinkable that Kurusu would, would just tag along with someone as suspicious as me, who just ran down from off limits rooftop. It would be impossible to take her away. I really should just wait at the scene of the murder. I grind my teeth and try, and try to leave her here, ignoring Kurusu. She pursues me. Why is she this desperate to ascertain my identity? 
Well, I certainly am suspicious. Is she just curious? She even called out to me without bringing anyone else. I reluctantly halt and look at her straight in the eyes. Kotaite! Orewa. Omayo. I start pe speaking, but can't get the words out. Can I even save her? I'm not confident. Because I'm powerless against the merciless world's convergence. Nandesu. I shake my head and run away, taking Kurusu by surprise. When I returned to the 8th floor, the presentation had already started. I peek into the assembly hall to check things out without going inside. Someone in the unit is complaining that Dr. Nakabachi in a, in a large voice. That someone was me. Which reminds me, I had complained that Dr. Nakabachi's speech was ripped off Titer's time machine. I never knew I looked like such a dumbass. <laughs> Nakabachi replies with the, with the mic. Staff members start gathering around my chair. Seeing this unfold from outside makes me feel embarrassed for myself. Before Kurusu gets back, I leave the assembly hall on and head deeper and in, deep inside the dim passage. I flash back to the scene of Kurusu collapse in a puddle of blood deep in the passage. In about 20 minutes, the same thing is going to happen here. I need to do something to prevent that. I need to. I must. In the middle of the passage are some junk, some toolboxes, and some cardboard boxes. Perfect for hiding. I slide into that covering. Now all I have to do is wait for her for here until Kurusu comes. I quickly regret not carrying anything to protect myself. I just once wasn't thinking enough. Coming back, coming here empty-handed. Could have collapsed in a puddle of blood. In other words, the murderer's lethal weapon is something that causes bleeding. And since I didn't hear a gunshot, I could probably narrow things down to something with a blade. In that case, being empty-handed is not very promising. Should I look for something that could be used as a weapon now? I still have about 20 minutes. But it would be bad if I made unwise actions and got caught by someone. I might just be too cautious, but this is my only chance to prevent Kudus' death. I don't want to make unnecessary a any unnecessary actions until that moment. My heart started pounding back there when Kudus just talked to me. It went way too well, but I thought it was a miracle. <sighs> I curl up in the darkness and subdue my breath, all tense. Furthermore, not a single person passes through this passage. I can finally, I can faintly hear Nakabachi's voice through the mic, far away. But that's it. This stillness increases my tension. Moreover, it's hot. Perhaps because the air conditioning isn't functioning. It hasn't even been a minute since I hid myself, but my entire body is already drenched in sweat. The sweat dripping off my brow falls down into a like up with a plop, staining the floor. I step on that stain and erase it with my suit, with my shoe. Anyway, let's wait. All I can do is wait. I keep subduing my breath, for who knows how long. From far away, I can hear the sporadic sound of applause. I look at the watch, I look, and it's twelve twenty-six. Is the presentation over? Or does I pick my head out of the covering? The sound of one person's footsteps approaches. I probably draw my head back in. My heart beats fast. Someone came. Someone's walking through this passage. Who? Kudusu's murderer? 
and clenched my teeth, trying to drive away my tension. My prey won't be found. And finally, the footsteps pass right by where, I, where I'm hidden. Moving only my eyes, I peek at who this person could be. <sighs> Kurusu. Hold on a second, I gotta, uh, yeah, I'm gonna get a drink of water. Kurusu? Nobody else was there. I didn't expect Kurusu to appear. But just what is Kurusu's purpose in this employee's only passage? If I think calmly, something feels out of place. Why was Kurusu killed in a passage that most people wouldn't approach? Subduing my breath, I try to find out Kurusu's circumstances. About five meters away, Kurusu stops at about the middle of the passage and leans onto the wall. She's holding a large A4 envelope. She peeks inside and faintly smiles. Why is she smiling now? It's unusual for Kurusu to smile like that. After all, it's her side to glare at other people with such a, with, with a sour look. Envelope. Just what is that envelope? That reminds me, when Kurusu talked to me during Nakabachi's presentation, I'm pretty sure she was holding that envelope. Was that thing there when I discovered her murdered body? I don't remember seeing it. Kurusu peeked into that envelope, but I can't see what's inside since she hasn't taken it out. What's inside? Who would make Kurusu smile? I can't think of anything. Kurusu's been standing stock still for a while. She's hand she's hanging her head, and her long hair indicates her face, or hides her face, so I can't tell what her expression is. Is she waiting for someone? Whom? Just whom could she be waiting for in a place like this where nobody goes? And then, another set of footsteps approaches. I can't tell what sort of person it is from where I'm hiding. But I'm confident, considering the timing, this newcomer must be the one who killed Kurusu. And to prove it, Kurusu raises her head, and upon recognizing that person, lifts her back off the wall, and finally loses her, loosens her expression. The footsteps come even closer. Who is it? Who could it be? Kurusu gently starts talking. Footsteps pass right beside me. I'm so tense I can't move a muscle. A, silhou a silhouette finally appears in my vision, in my field of vision. And it's... <sighs> what? What the hell are you doing here? No! I immediately cover my mouth with my hand to stop my voice from coming out. What? Dr. Nakabachi? Kurusu and Dr. Nakabachi know each other? They're acquaintances? Now that you mention it, I never thought about it. But isn't it weird that Kurusu would go to Dr. Nakabachi's time machine announcement in the first place? Why would a genius girl even got published in scientific journal in America, come all the way to Japan to attend some suspicious self-proclaimed inventor's, self inventor's presentation. Only about 15 people came out of curiosity, but ridicule. Not even one of them of the press came. Moreover, Kurusu was so negative about time machines. It was obvious from her lecture at ATF. There's no way Kurusu came for Nakabachi's announcement itself. Then the reason she's here is obvious. Is obvious. She didn't come to see the presentation. Her goal was something else. But just what is the connection? I can't think of any tangents. No way. Papa. <sighs> what? Child. The father Kurusu was always worrying about. 
who should be living in Aomori without talking to her for seven years. That father is Nakabachi. Kurusu did say her father was a physicist. And Nakabachi certainly is a physicist. And though he's been stunned, shunned from the scientific society. Wait a sec. So, basically, the one who killed Kurusu is Nakabachi? He, the father, killed his own daughter? Or is someone else lying in wait? Doubt. If I were fully convinced Nagabachi is the culprit, then I'd jump out right now. Maybe I should just wait and see for a bit. それはなんだ。パパがタイムマシンの発表会をすると聞いて、私も考えてみたの。タイムマシンは作れるのかどうか。a time machine thesis? But Kurusu? Even though she was so against time machines in her ATF lecture. No, wait. She was more against the microwave ophone temp. I forgot Kurusu was a sundere. Yonde, Papa no ikin o kikasete hoshi. Sorry of whom I did now she stay. Gakai ni dusty me o to motel. Nakabachi takes the documents and starts reading with a sour look. <clears throat> so that's what it was. I'm relieved the contents weren't something dangerous, like narcotics or a gun. But at the same time, I start thinking several questions. What if that thesis Kurusu wrote is the Nakabachi thesis itself? The cause of World War III. The document explaining the time machine. The document that caused the deaths of 5.7 billion people. So is that why? Is that why saving Kurusu will cause a great change in the divergence? I get it now. Everything wasn't a coincidence, but an inevitability. Nakiba Nakabachi has, has been restlessly turning the pages of the document. He silently keeps reading without trying to hide his frustration. It looks like he's skimming over it really quickly, but... <laughs> パパが7年ぶりに連絡をくれて発表会を見に来いって言ってくれたでしょ。それがきっかけになったの。それで論文にまとめてみたらもしかすると作れるかもしれないんじゃないかって思えるようになった。もしその論文が認められたら学会を追
いろいろと話したいんだけどパパは今青森に住んでるんだっけ She tries too hard to speak. She tries too hard to speak cheerfully. But Kurusu's facial expression is already stiff. I remember how she said her relationship with her father was poor. She muttered lonesomely. Come on! Hey! Let's go to America and see you in the face of your face! But... 何が意見が聞きたいだ。何が共同署名だ。本心ではそんなことこれっぽっちも思っていないだろうが。That was an inferiority complex on the level of a child. 私を憐れんどるのかそれとも下げすんどるのか娘の分際で。な、何言ってるのよ落ち着いて。私は十分落ち着いておる。差しずするな !Things are getting strange. It's just about time for Kurusu to get killed. So now Kabachi's the culprit after all, huh? Even though he's, he's really her father? なのにあの妙な若造のせいで全て台無しだ。そしてお前がそんな私を見て、鼻で笑っていたのも知っているぞ。ど、笑ったなんて。この論文に意見が欲しいのか意見ならここで言ってやる。And Kibachi keeps talking without listening to a word of Kurusu's objections. この論文は私の名前で発表する。以上だ。あ、まさか、パパ、盗むのなんだと私の論文、盗むのそんなことだけはしない人だって思っていたのに。You bastard. What do I? What do I do? 誰に対して口を聞いておるのだ Oh, you son of a bitch. Okabe, I think now's the time for you to get out here. Why do you think I'm going to get out of here? Why do you think I'm so strong? I'm so strong. 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 お前と親子だと思われるのが耐えられなかったお前がいたせいでお前のせいで His reasoning's all a mess There's nothing but scapegoating isn't there, isn't it? There's no point to keep watching and waiting I know who the culprit is for sure I rush out for my covering よせ<笑> I ram into his shoulder Nakabachi's hand is separated from Kutus's neck なんだお前はクリスは殺させない I'm saving Kurusu. If I save her now, the future will change. Even a, we even a weakling like me can pin down an old man like this. And then if Suzuha calls the police, Kurusu's tragic figure floats through my mind. No. It won't turn out like that. Nakabachi pushes himself up from the wall. Meeting my eyes. His eyes filled with rage upon seeing my face. Oi, Saki! Omae no se de! Omae no se de wa atashi no hapyo kai wa dai nashi da! Before. Alright, back then. I beg to fight during the presentation. Since I'm the, since I'm the same person, it wouldn't be weird if Nakabachi got the wrong idea. Yoku mo nuke nuke to wa atashi no mai ni kao o dase ta na! どいつもこいつも私の邪魔ばかりするさてはお前クリスと示し合わせていたなそうだそうなんだろう This guy really has an obsessive persecution complex, doesn't he? ゆるさん
許さんぞガキども仲間チクレーズミーウッドラスターイブッシャーアイズテイキングサンティングアウトスポケットエフェスト I couldn't tell what it was It gleams in the dim light Knife Its blade was about 20 centimeters long I couldn't help but wince at its cold radiance Why is he even carrying something like that? Has the old man gone senile? Does he plan to stab Kurosu to death with that knife? I won't let him. Damn it! Why is my brain so, so fixated on that scene? Nagabachi charges in with no sign of hesitation whatsoever. He raises his knife hand up and. <laughs> I instinctively dodge attack, or dodge back. I barely dodge that swing, but Nakabachi draws even closer. I was so scared of the sight of the old man, full of rage, hair disheveled, that I wanted to scream. I'll be killed. No. No need to fear. I won't die. That past should have already been decided. Though, if I think about it, that's really self contradictory. If that past is already decided, t h e n I can't save Kurusu. I shake off that thought. Anyway, for now, just think about saving Kurusu. I am a i n I close my fearful eyes and reluctantly stop backstepping. Instead, I take one step forward. I knock down Nakabachi's arm. Easier than expected. The knife falls off not, not of Nakabachi's hands onto the floor. I jump to it once and once and pick it up. I look up in surprise. Nakabachi had taken a screwdriver out of his pocket box, out of his toolbox left in the passage. Kurusu tried to stop her father, but was defensively stepping, stepping up to him. Stop! Don't get any closer! The one who's going to kill wasn't me, but you, Kurusu! Even though I took away his knife. It was meaningless. A screwdriver can become a murder weapon if you pierce with all your might. Kurisu! Nigero! Kurisu glances at me at the sound of my voice. But she doesn't move from there. Why? Why won't you run away? Papa! Baka no money will you make it? Nani ga akar. Nani ga akar. Nani ga! Nagabachi has lost us. There's nothing more than we can say. Our words won't reach him. Nakabachi turns to Kurusu, brandishing the screwdriver. Kurusu still doesn't run away. <laughs> Blood spurts from the arm, from the arm Kurusu used to guard her, fa- her face. It's useless. I can't save her at this rate. I firmly grasp the knife in my hands. Kurusu won't die if I kill Nakabachi. Damn it! Don't get in my way! I won't be tied I won't be tied to that past. I need to do this. To save Kurusu. To change the future. Nakabachi! I thrust the knife towards Nakabachi, who's still exhorting madness towards Kurusu. No! No! I... Stabbed... Ah. No! (laughs) No! No! The one I stabbed... None... What happened? I went to stab Nakabachi. The blade should have reached his back by any second now. And yet. And yet. As if to protect Nakabachi. Could have forced a way between us. <laughs> Could have his body lose his strength. 
and leans on my shoulder. <laughs> Bastard. <laughs> Raising an insane laugh, Nagibachi picks up the thesis he dropped a while ago and runs to the elevator deep inside the passage. I couldn't chase him. Even though I understood what just happened, I couldn't move one step. What a cruel joke. What killed her? What killed Makise Kurusu was... <laughs> Kurusu whispers with a fading voice. Bodily fluids run from the knife into my hands. Warm. Red blood. Kurusu's red blood. Gushing out from her wound. It feels warm, but is by no means hot. And yet, it felt hot enough to burn my hands. I try to pull out the knife. If I pull it out and treat it, then maybe I can still save her. But my own hands felt as if they had become petrified like a statue. They wouldn't move. No matter how much strength I put into them. Not my arms, not my fingers, not even a twitch. My muscles wouldn't, my muscles wouldn't accept the orders of my brain. Kurusu's breath gradually grows rough. Kurusu is suffering. It's not supposed to be like this. It wasn't supposed to be like this. Why won't my hands move? Even though I want to pull the knife out and ease her pain. My own body doesn't even feel like it's mine. Kurusu's leaning body starts shaking, as if going into convulsions. The shaking makes me imagine Kurusu's pain. Toast. In the end, all I could do was raise, was mutter that. It's not worth it. That guy's an asshole. Damn it. Papa, ni, mitomete, hoshikute. Itsu mo, benkyo. Demo, imasara, papa wa, watashi nante. Please, don't die on me. 
No matter how much I pray. All strength leaves that body. I no longer hear any breathing. And even still, her blood flowing, flowing from her wound is still hot. Killed her. I killed her. The one who killed Kurasu. Is me. <laughs> Hokubei. Another me looks down from above while hearing my own voice resounding. Uh, so that's it. My heart mutters. I noticed that on that day, the voice I heard was mine. Okari-ojisan! Someone is pulling on my shoulder. Tatte! Ojisan! My body is being dragged. At that moment, the knife I was tightly grasping came out of Kurasu's chest. Even more blood flows out. Still has blood. It still has body warmth. Please. Meo. Akete kureo. Okiro yo. Shikari shite, ojisan. Ima sugu koko o hanare nai to hito ga kichu. ごめん。殺すつもりなかった。俺は助けようと。なんでこんな。When I'm being dragged, feelings of regret and guilt revolve in my head. I killed Kurasu. Twice. どうにかく戻らなきゃ。おじさん、まだ諦めちゃダメ。大丈夫だから。きっと大丈夫だから。しっかり捕まってて。I feel my body being strongly pushed. The knife is, is snatched from my hand. Each stiff finger is forcibly opened, almost torn. I couldn't save her after all. Far from saving her, worldline convergence made me kill Kurasu. The past had been decided. It was impossible to change it from the beginning. 